Ferrari remove Binotto. Is this a good or bad thing? So the news is out that Ferrari have decided to remove Mattia Binotto from his position as team principal. Although they kind of wrap it up as Binotto decides to leave the team, but we all know the truth. Despite Ferrari themselves denying the rumours on the Tuesday leading up to Abu Dhabi, where they literally said, in relation to speculation in certain media regarding Scuderia Ferrari team principal Mattia Bonotto's position, Ferrari states that these rumours are totally without foundation. Um, I would argue maybe there was some foundation, considering this news has broken less than two weeks later. Classic Ferrari. Let's dive a bit deeper into this then. Was Ferrari right to remove Bonotto as team principal? On one side, you could argue that Ferrari took a massive step forward this year and that should be commended, as they were the only team who consistently fought Red Bull for most of the year. But on the other side, the poor execution from the team with both strategy and reliability shows that there was a lot left on the table. Remember when Mattia Bonotto said he doesn't see why Ferrari can't win the last 10 races? Fast forward to the end of the season and Red Bull won 9 of them and Mercedes won. Pretty laughable, isn't it? Ferrari only won 4 races this year. 4 out of 23 with 12 pole positions. Yeah, there were a few driver errors thrown in there too, which did cost them, but strategy, reliability and weaker upgrades were the key problems for the prancing horse. I do have to say that he did try to manage expectations at the start of the season, saying they probably won't fight for the championship, but still, the equipment they had and how poorly they executed was clearly unforgivable from the higher powers at Ferrari. This was easily Ferrari's best chance for a shot at the title for many, many years. It's crazy to think a legendary team such as this hasn't won a Drivers' World Championship for 15 years. Mad. With all of these errors and also falling off performance-wise during the last third of the season, Ferrari only just managed to secure P2 in the constructors, which is absolutely ridiculous to think about. I reckon if they'd lost out to Mercedes in that fight, Bonotto would have probably left Monday morning. So what do Ferrari need next? Well, in my opinion, they need more of a leader, a stronger personality at the top of the chain as team principal. I believe Bonotto is more naturally suited as an engineer as this is where he came from, and clearly he has a good effect on the team in terms of improving the car. Where he wasn't able to make as much of an impact was whipping the team into shape to be bulletproof when it comes to making decisions quickly. The amount of errors, uncertainty talking to the drivers about strategy and so on showed that whatever the problems were that caused these weren't learned and acted upon for the next race. Yes, teams do make mistakes from time to time, but they're incredibly rare. Red Bull and Mercedes have set an incredibly high benchmark that Ferrari fell short of this year. Whatever your opinion on Toto Wolff and Christian Horner, you cannot deny that they are strong team leaders. They will fight for their team till the very end and hold an incredibly powerful presence in the world of Formula One. Now, the person heavily rumoured to replace Bonotto is Alfa Romeo team principal, Frederic Vasseur. If you are a Leclerc fan, you'll be very pleased to hear that this may happen because he was the man who ran the Monegasque in karting, F3 and in his rookie season in Formula 1. He absolutely knows and respects what Leclerc can bring to the table. There wouldn't be any finger wagging in his face, that's for sure. I personally can see Vasseur fitting in very well at the Scuderia and definitely think it's time for a new face in town to hopefully lead Ferrari to the success it well and truly deserves. Deserves. Only time will tell as to whether he will be the one announced. There you have it, a look into Mattia Bonotto leaving Ferrari. Do you think this is a good or bad thing? Let us know in the comment section below.